Hi, everyone. We'll give everybody just a couple minutes to get in here. In the meantime, uh, I'll go over the materials that we need. So I'm Elizabeth. I'm an educator here at the Science Center. And uh, today we are going to be uh, exploring fingerprints. So for this activity, uh, you're going to need a few different things. There's going to be a couple different parts. So you're going to need first a number two pencil and a white piece of paper. And then you're going to need some clear tape. And I think that got left off of the, um, the supplies list. So if you don't have clear tape, now would be the time to go get that. And then for part two, you're going to want like a clear glass or a cup or a bowl, something like that. Um, some cornstarch, like this, uh, and then a small um, paintbrush or something along those lines. And also a piece of tape clear tape for that as well. And then um, if you want to, things like a magnifying glass could be fun, um, and also an ink pad and or some washable markers, but those are optional. So I'll give everybody a chance to go get those, and then I'm going to have Peter uh, tell us a little bit about Zoom. So we are, today are going, we're going to be exploring our own fingerprints. And now you can probably tell right, that your fingers all look a little different. You have these tiny lines, but sometimes it's hard to see if you're just looking at your fingers. So we are going to use some tools so that we can get a closer look at them. So for this first part of our activity, you're gonna need a white piece of paper and a number two pencil and then a piece of tape. All right, so I'm gonna move my screen down so you can see what I'm doing. We're basically going to use our pencil to make some ink. So you're gonna take your number two pencil and you're just gonna scribble a bunch right on your piece of paper. So you make the- Could you turn your camera down? Yeah, perfect, there thank you. So we're just gonna keep going, make a whole bunch. We're kind of making our own little ink pad that then we're going to use to look at our fingerprints. All right, so once you feel like you've gotten that nice and dark with your graphite, you're gonna take one of your fingers, doesn't really matter which one, you can try it with all of them if you want, and you're gonna kinda rub your finger around in that graphite. So then you end up with your finger that's kinda covered in some gray. And so you can see some of your fingerprint lines like that. But then if we want to be able to keep looking at them and not have silvery gray hands forever, you're going to take a piece of tape and you're going to put that tape over your fingertip. And that will take that graphite off of your finger and then you can place it on your paper and then you will have a fingerprint that you can look at. All right, so if you're looking at your fingerprints, what do you notice? Anybody have any observations they wanna share? Not yet? All right, well, let's try it with another finger then. All right, so you've done one finger, now you've got your ink pad, you might wanna, you, know, you can add a little bit more Graphite, a little color with a little bit more pencil in there. And then pick a different finger. So maybe I'll do my pinky finger this time. So same thing. I'm gonna really rub it in that graphite there. I'll put it down so you can see what we're doing. And then once I've got my pinky all silvered up, I'm going to find another piece of tape here. And do this. Bree Lynn had an observation in the chat. She Ooh, said that there were different lines on her different fingers, I think. Ah, very cool. Yeah, so all of your fingerprints are unique, which means they're totally different. No one has the same fingerprints. So 
your, 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 all of your fingers are different and then your fingers are totally different from everybody else's too. So if you have someone else in your house, you can see if they can do their fingerprints and maybe you can both do your thumbs or you can both do the same finger and then you can compare what you are seeing versus your fingers versus your family member's fingers. It, it looks like it was actually Natalie's observation. That's my mistake. Ah, very I cool. I think we have a question from Elizabeth too. If you want to awesome. unmute yourself, Elizabeth. They all have lines. It, all the fingers have lines. Yeah, all your fingers have lines. Did you know that you had lines all over your fingers? No, so some people didn't realize they had lines all over their fingers until just now. Well, that's pretty cool, right? Now, scientists sometimes use these lines, use these fingerprints to be able to identify people because they're all um, different for each person. So the way they can do that is if you touch something with your fingers, our hands are sometimes a little bit oily, our skin makes oil, and then that oil gets left behind on a surface that we touch. And so sometimes then scientists can go around and find those surfaces and they can actually find the fingerprints that we left behind and then they can use those to identify individuals. So that is what we're gonna try next. Looks like Gordon, Gordon you has have a question. Go ahead and unmute yourself, Gordon. Meet yourself. Do, do our hands have fingerprints also? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you look at your hands, you could do this with your whole hand because um, your, your hand is also going to have lines and a special print too. But it might be hard to get your whole hand covered in the graphite like we did with the fingers. So we might stick with just the fingers. But yeah, absolutely. You could do your whole hand if you wanted to. And then that would be totally different from anybody else's. All right, so now for this next part, you're gonna need uh, your glass or bowl and a dark piece of paper. So it could be black or dark blue, something like that. And then you're gonna need your paintbrush and some cornstarch and uh, another piece of tape. So. Like I said, we get those fingerprints from the oils that are on our hands. Um, sometimes our hands aren't super oily, but does anybody know what one of the oiliest parts of our skin is? Anybody know where we can find lots of oil on our skin? Our liver, on our skin. So yeah, inside our body, our liver has a lot of oil. That's absolutely right. But that's not gonna be super easy for us to get to. But on our skin, do we know, anybody know the oiliest, one of the oiliest parts of our skin? Nose. Nose, exactly right. So your nose has a lot of oil. So to make this work a little better, in case our hands aren't super oily, you're gonna take the finger that you wanna make a print of and you're gonna rub it on your nose. All right, right, just right on the top of your nose right here. Just rub that finger a little bit because then that gets a little bit of extra oil from your nose onto your finger. And then you're gonna take your glass or your cup or your bowl, and you're gonna put that fingerprint right on that glass somewhere. All right, now if you kind of look at it and tilt the glass around a little bit, you might even be able to see the fingerprint just right there with that oil that we put on. But again, we want to be able to see it a little bit more clearly. So this is where you're going to grab your paintbrush and just a little tiny bit of cornstarch. It doesn't take very much. The cornstarch is white and it's going to kind of stick to those oils that we left behind. And so that is going to help us to be able to see that fingerprint. So then you're just going to very gently paint some cornstarch onto your fingerprint there. Now you wanna be careful because you don't wanna paint too hard because you don't wanna mess up your fingerprint. So just very gently paint some cornstarch 
onto that fingerprint that you left on your glass. Now, I don't know if you can see mine, but I've got a little bit of cornstarch there. And then if we want to be able to see it. Then you're going to grab another piece of tape, place it over that fingerprint, and really kind of push it down a little bit so that it's really going to stick to all of that cornstarch. And then you can peel it back off and stick it on your construction paper your, or your, your dark paper, whether it's black or blue or whatever you were able to find. And then all that white from the cornstarch is going to show up against the black paper and then you can see your fingerprint that we lifted up from the glass onto the paper. Was anybody able to see their fingerprint? Anybody able to get a fingerprint off the glass? Yeah, I see some nods, awesome. If you wanna hold those up to the camera, that'd be cool too. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Awesome. I see some people are, are trying it with, with other fingers too, and that's great, All right? So now you can you know, go back to your nose, right? Try it with a different finger. Oh, looks like Kareen has a bunch of cool fingerprints on hers. Awesome. But yeah, so we can go back to our nose, get a little bit more oil on there, and we can try the process again with a different finger and see how it's going to look different. Let's see Oh, Trey and Corinne use uh, ink instead of cornstarch. Ah, cool. yeah, so if you have an ink pad, that's another way to be able to look at these fingerprints. I do not have an ink pad, so I'm having to do some, some more creative ways. But yeah, if you have an ink pad, that is another way to do it. Yeah. All right, let's see. So was anybody able to get their fingerprints off of their glass? Looks like Jacob and Jerome have a piece of paper, maybe. Oh, yeah, awesome. Very cool. That's a good fingerprint. That's awesome. It's a little small to see, mm -hmm. but my dad's kind of didn't work. Oh, maybe he didn't have enough oil on his, you think? Or his finger was too big for the piece of tape. Oh, maybe his finger was too big for the piece of tape. That could be true, too. Yeah. Maybe the piece of double the figure too. of two fingers together out of mine. Ah, you were able to yeah. do two fingers together. That's pretty cool. That, that's basic. No, um, that. Two fingers of my fingers together equals two. Is the same as his because he's got really big fingers. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it will work better for for kid size fingers, right? Adult size fingers might be a little tough if they're too big for the paper. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad you were able to get it to work for your fingers. All right. Now, if you want to keep experimenting with your fingerprints. Uh, one thing that we can do is we can make fingerprint art, okay? And so you can use those prints uh, to make, make prints on paper. So if you have an ink pad, this is something you can use that ink pad for again. If not, if you have some uh, washable markers, that can work too. Now this can get a little bit messy, but so you definitely wanna use washable markers so that it'll wash back off of your hands. But you can pick any of your fingers, you could use your thumb if you want, you could use lots of different fingers. And you're just gonna kind of color all over your fingertip. And then 
you can press it onto the paper and make some fun designs. Corinne thinks her fingerprints look like piano keys. Ooh, that's cool. interesting. And then we also, Vivian, do you have your hand up? Do you have a comment you want to make? Go ahead and unmute yourself, Vivian. Can you use your toes? Yeah, you could definitely also use your toes, absolutely. So your toes have prints like this too. Though it's a little bit harder for us to look at our toes. But yeah, if you wanted to, you could absolutely use your toes as well. Ooh, it looks like somebody, Elizabeth, used an ink pad and got a really cool fingerprint on paper. Awesome. Elizabeth, do you have a comment you want to make? Go ahead and unmute yourself. So right there, I put down the whole ink pad and then I put my finger in the ink pad and then and that's how I got that design, the square ah. around it. Ah, because you, you pushed down all the way with the ink pad. Very cool. Trey, did you want to show us your print picture or Corinne? Oh, Corinne, that's really cool. Awesome. Now I made, you know, some, some fingerprints kind of in a circle and I thought it looked kind of like a flower. So now I'm going to keep decorating and making a, a fingerprint flower. What else could you make out of your fingerprints? We have a question about the safety of using pencils and graphite. It's totally safe, but you do want to make sure you wash your hands afterward, but it'll wash right off. If you Good you question, to though. Soap and water, it'll wash right off. So let's see here. I think maybe I'll use my pinky finger again. That's a cool design, Elizabeth. I like that. With the square and two fingers. All right. Well, if you guys want to keep experimenting with your fingerprints and uh, see if you can do all 10 of them and look at them and then see if you can uh, get other members in your family to maybe do some too, then you can kind of compare them and see if there's any similarities. Because sometimes uh, there are are you know different types of fingerprints like some people have something that looks like a whirl sometimes people have things that look um, like more like stripes and so you can compare them to your family and see if you guys have similar fingerprint types or if you're all totally different um, and if you have a set of fingerprints that you think are really pretty you can share those with us on our facebook page Ooh, it looks like elizabeth made a cool fingerprint design that's awesome yeah, we would love to see pictures of your fingerprint art. If you're doing markers or an ink pad and you're making fingerprint art, we would love to see pictures of that on our Facebook page. So if you wanna, if you wanna take a picture of your art and then see if your grown up can, can help you upload it to our Facebook page, that would be awesome because then we can share it and everybody can see them. Trey, do you have something you wanna say or are you showing us your inky fingers? I have something to say. I made a flower print. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like it. Print has something to say too. Awesome. I made it. Oh, that's great. I really like it. <laughs> I 
That's awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna keep working. Let's see, I'm working on my flower here. I'm gonna keep working. And again, if you guys have cool things you wanna share, we would love to see them. Does anyone have any last questions before we- Vanessa, have... can I say one more? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh huh. Ooh, so your fingerprints looked weird under a magnifying glass. Did anybody else use a magnifying glass to look at their fingerprints? I don't have a magnifying glass at home, so I wasn't able to do that, but it looks like a couple people tried to use a magnifying glass at home. What did you think? Did it look weird? A little bit for me. Were you able to see the, the different lines a little bit clearer? Yeah. Yeah? Corinne, is that where you thought it looked I, like a piano key? Yeah. I, I'm like making a scribble one. Oh, now you're adding some scribbles in too? Well, very cool. It is your art. You can do however you like. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed exploring your fingerprints. And tomorrow, we are going to be uh, releasing some of our little baby fingerling brown trout. So if you were with us last Wednesday, uh, we had Marina uh, from Trout in the Classroom talking about our trout that we've been growing in the Science Center. And then Marina is going to join us again tomorrow to release those trout into Cascadilla Creek. So if you are available tomorrow at 1030, we'd love for you to tune in and release our trout with us. Bye everybody. Bye everyone. See you tomorrow.